you'll like this. Got word from Hamish that Nigel Cass is planning to unveil some new nasty projects at a press conference. And why would I give a single fuck about Nigel Cass? Because Hamish has convinced his Albion contact to talk to us. Apparently it took some doing, since Radu's a squirrely sort. He's been especially agitated lately. But he has insider information we could use. The meeting's at the Drowning Post. Fine. Planning how to take down Cass over a couple of drinks doesn't sound too bad. This is the place. Where's the informant? Bad news from Hamish. His contact is running late. May as well make yourself comfortable. Impairing our frontal lobe again, are we? Just trying to take the edge off, Bagley. The attack occurred just as Albion CEO Nigel Cass was announcing a new security... Turn up the telly, mate! Our cameras captured video of the attack, which some viewers may find disturbing. Without their tireless work, we couldn't have rolled out these checkpoints. Watch out! 43C. Engage contact right. Aim fire! Aim fire! Government officials have yet to issue a statement, but Cass had this to say. An attack on me and my men is one thing. We're trained to handle these monsters. But I will not abide civilian casualties. This city deserves peace. And I promise you, London, we carry on as we are. These attacks will continue. But we don't need to live like this. Scared to leave our homes. Criminals. Terrorists like these. Can be stopped before they even start. And I have a plan to do just that. Your police and politicians may have stopped fighting for you. But I will never stop. Thank you. This is what I'm talking about. Cass ought to be in charge of things. The hell he should. He's just another greedy bastard. Nigel Cass is the only one who gives a fuck about this city. Twat! Oi, break it up. Keep it civil. People are dick fucking hell. Tell me you lot met with my contact and he had nothing to do with this. Your man never showed up, Hamish. But come on, this was a show. It has Cass written all over it. Cass is a drama queen and he staged everything perfectly for his little performance. We need to check the attack site. No, no, you don't get it, fam. Radu's been seriously unbalanced lately. Talking all sorts of rubbish about someone having to stop Cass, no matter the cost. Timing's too pat. Cass announces this new security initiative and then he's attacked in public. No way. Hope you're right. And it's not Radu gone off the deep end. This is the site where Nigel Cass was attacked. But, surprise, surprise, his personal goon squad had already scrubbed the area for evidence. Wouldn't want the truth to get in the way of the perfect sales pitch, now would they? Yes, if you search for clues, I may be able to reconstruct the attack in augmented reality. Is there anything you can't do? There is a CTOS data relay nearby. That will have the data I need. Fine, I'm on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> ah! Anybody? I'll go over there. I'm going to need a bit more data if you want me to reconstruct the scene in augmented reality. Stay sharp. Search for 
search the area. Fine. Don't clear up. Gonna check our next area. That should do it. Go back to the location of the incident to view the reconstruction. This does look like pro-terrorism, in the sense that it's both professional and in favor of terrorism. So our target had access to professional weaponry. Unfortunately, that doesn't narrow it down. I'll have a look around. Searching facial recognition databases, and here he is, Radu Florin, an Albion employee in good standing until he tried to drive an exploding truck into his boss. Right, do? Oh, shit. Fam, that's the bloke put me on the Themis. My contact inside Albion. You're telling me this actually was some kind of assassination attempt? What the fuck did he find to make him desperate enough to do this? Roll it, Bugs. Look at that. Albion trucks have black boxes on the undercarriage, just like aeroplanes. I can track down the black box, which should lead us to the truck's current location. And run the truck's plates. Of course. I'll also monitor Albion communications and a thousand other little things you would appreciate. Looks like a disgruntled employee situation. Surprise, surprise. Working for Cass is bad for morale. Hmm. If there's mutiny afoot in Albion, we could spin that to our advantage. Let's start investigating the truck. Let's get to... Here we go. According to Albion radio chatter, they've moved the truck to the Tone bombing site. And here's something even stranger. They've moved Radu Florin's body along with it. To Tone? What the hell is going on? Albion has been coordinating recovery efforts at the site, which is rather vague. It's a dumping ground, isn't it? For problems they like to see disappear. If we find the truck, we find Radu. Agreed. Do your thing. What do we have here? Fucking doing that work. 
I'm Andy, me. As always, uh, Alice. I'm uh, excited to be here. Apparently, the resistance is uh, not going well. Uh, again? <laughs> well, there has been some news about DedSec, the resistance and or terrorist organisation. Delete according to preference. Not preference, sorry. Delete according to whether or not you work for the government, sirs, Blue, the Kellys or Albion. <laughs> according to a sirs official, DedSec is no longer a threat, uh, which I guess is true in that it was never a threat in the first place. Reminds me of when my great aunt Gladys had her appendix out. Oh, Andy, that surgeon's a real threat, waggling that knife at me, trying to knock me out. What they call a scalpel and an anaesthetic, Gladys. Anyway, if Sir's officials say DedSec is dead, I guess we have to assume that uh, the thing's never been stronger. But I do worry, Alice. I mean, sometimes I think, is there any hope? Do you, do you still have hope? I don't think I'm allowed to have hope. We're living in the self-selected, algorithmically designated information equivalent of a propaganda state. And uh, every resistance that I've ever seen is weaker than the British pound. I feel like ho hope is an expensive thing to buy these days. Right. I mean, is it all, is it all totally pointless? Or I'm at the tone site. So this is where Albion brought the truck from the attack? That's right, but what we don't know is why they brought it here. I'll have a look around. This is the truck used in the Finsbury attack. I have a VIN and plate match. The dash cam is a shambles, but the local cameras picked up some audio. Worth a listen. Oh, Jesus. He's pretty burnt up. Happens when your truck explodes. Fuck. I used to see him around R&D. Did you know him? Hell no. But even if I did, I wouldn't fucking talk about it. Know what I mean? I'm detecting several optics nearby with no life signs connected. That's where we should look for the driver's body. I'm on it.
He's looking to automate our jobs, mate. This is no joke. Direct attacks. You serious? It's not a guy. This one's been dead for too long. Yes, from the state of decay, I'd say this person died, oh, right around the tone bombing. So that's one mystery solved. Severe burns. Looks recent. Think this is our target. There's a lump of damaged metal in his noggin that might once have been an optic. Can you still get something off it, Bagley? I'm pulling everything down from his cloud storage now. I recommend escaping from the premises. So, Albin's using the Tone site as a dumping ground. If you consider that new bodies are constantly being unearthed from the Tone wreckage, they can kill anyone they want and get away with it. I've decrypted an audio file recovered from the attacker's body. Shall I play it? You're up, Bagley. He's launched them, Mum. They're waiting up there, and no one knows. People think he'll keep them safe, but that's not what he wants. He wants control. He sent them up there to watch us. And worse... He called them Justice, uh, Themis, Drones. What a cruel joke. The project was dead, but he has the team re-engineering an upgrade that'll activate a systemic reboot, and <laughs> you always hated it when I used my big up words. I, I can't let it happen. And without him, it doesn't. Mom. I'm about to do something. Something awful. Or at least people will say it's awful. If they know what I know, maybe they'd think better of me. Less of a monster. But I'm trying to stop a monster, Mom. I am. If you had the chance to stop something terrible from happening by... by... killing someone, wouldn't you do it? Something truly horrible? I'm sorry. Drones lying in wait this entire time. The right system upgrade? Well, they could actually take over. Might take months, but Cass could get the project back on its legs. Unless we destroy the drones themselves. Bats boy, the Themis data we wiped at Titus. Any chance you remember enough to retro engineer a more suitable upgrade? I'll do you one better. I can code a virus from the data itself. God damn it, Bagley. You kept the project data? I asked him to. No sense in just flushing data. Never know what might come in handy or what you might learn. So, how do we use it to infect the drones? Albion's got a primary communications hub at Tower Bridge. Upload the virus there, fam, and all the drones get a dose. Let's do it.
This is Albion's primary communications hub, but there's more security here than there is around the Royal Meth Stash. You should start by destroying their encryptors. If your hacking skills are up to snuff, dominating a combat drone or two could help. Got it. system must be acting up. search. the encryptors, you can now upload the virus using the central antenna. Got it. Here. 
here goes nothing. I'm reading incoming drones. The Themis drones? No, no, no. These aren't the algorithmically driven assassin drones. They're just the normal drones that also kill you. I know it's big and intimidating as antennas go, but you have to stay close to it for the fire is supposed to work. I suggest you leave before someone gets the bright idea to turn yours off. His plan to use drones driven by some social algorithm to dispense justice has backfired. Do you think he's actually read any of those Greek myths he's named his drones after? What's to stop the next plan, and the one after that? Cass is the real problem here. We have to figure out a way to stop him. Well, he's got a private army, a fleet of weaponized drones, and something even more dangerous. Public support. We take him head on, and we just look like the villains in his story. So we take the people's support away, fam? Bags and me have some thoughts on what we gotta do. You lot better come in for a briefing. Albion confirms that the explosions seen in the skies over London were indeed an Albion drone project that was sabotaged by the DedSec insurgency. In an exclusive interview with GBB Radio 1, Albion founder and CEO Nigel Cass had this to say. Truth is, the supposed freedom fighters of DedSec have made London less free. That drone project was meant to replace Albion boots on the ground, let the city get back to normal. But now, I can't in good conscience stand my people down. That's not how I lead. 
Cass went on to implore listeners to treat any suspected DedSec operatives as terrorists and to immediately report them to Albion. I knew Cass was a snake, but that's one hell of a spin. He'll keep twisting the truth. And worse, people keep believing him. And it's working. Sorry, that was too cheerful. Sadly, it's working. Too sad? It's what he does. He scares the shit out of people, then swoops in and plays the hero. We've got to show them what he really is. So that's his weakness, his image. If we shatter that, he falls apart. Yeah, about that. Few of us have been working on something. Bagley, bring it up. This is Claire Waters, political dissident and podcaster, reported missing after teasing a salacious upcoming episode. Sadly, it never aired. So all we have is this. On the next episode of Buccaneer Radio, I'm chatting with someone from deep inside Nigel Cass's inner circle. He's promised me something that will expose Cass as the tyrant I know he is. This is gonna blow the roof right off White Tower. See you next week, pirates. Nigel would have spun that interview if it was spinnable. If he went off the waters for it, that tape's a smoking gun. We've got to have it. Claire was known to broadcast out of Freight One. You should begin searching there. Claire Waters appears to be an equal opportunity muckslinger. Albion is her target of choice, but she's railed against tech genius Sky Larson, SIRS, and Plan Kelly. Opinionated, isn't she? Truth can be a dangerous thing. It's making her some powerful enemies. Maybe she needs a friend like DedSec to back her up. She's been digging in Cass's shit for a while. If what she has isn't enough to squeeze his bollocks in a vice, then maybe she'll join you lot and help find something. technology if we could pick up her trail that means someone else can let's find her quick and beat the bad guys to the punch footprints, Bagley. Several individuals. Boots rather than shoes. One with a tread unique to a certain paramilitary supplier. I think it's from their autumn collection. What the hell was Albion doing here? Clan Kelly graffiti. And a lot of it. Claire did release several podcasts critical of Clan Kelly, which you'd think they'd be used to by now. They're a criminal gang. They shouldn't expect flowers and thank you notes. Yeah, but they don't need to advertise. Something's off about this. Claire's killers didn't quite get everything. Can you scan her tablet, Bagley? Tablet unlocked. Claire seems to have logged conversations on it. Okay, you've agreed to speak on the record. You are an intelligence technician at Albion and work closely with Nigel Cass, correct, Mr...? Just you. I can't believe I'm doing this. If they were to find out... I know. Only have to step outside to see how Albion treats people. What do you have for us? Proof that... <sighs> Proof that Nigel Cass was complicit in the bombings. What? But that's... Here, transfer it to this secure storage drive. How solid is this information? It's a recording of him talking to some... <gasps> Carousel. Do take that wall. Then get rid of this body. She can stay here. <laughs> Gang vengeance is an horrible crime, ain't it? 
Fuck me. Cass sent a squad of his goons for Claire and that other bloke. That recording's got to be the real deal. Bastard knew about the bombings. Albion must have Claire's equipment then, along with the audio file evidence. I bet even Nigel Cass wouldn't be able to bullshit his way through this kind of evidence. He mentioned Carousel. Must mean Carousel Plaza, the Albion propaganda library. Sounds like as good a place as any to start looking. The stolen evidence is here somewhere. Watch out, Albion security is thicker than whoever cleaned up that crime scene. There's also a lot of them around. You know, I'd like to see them try me on for size. Yes, well, let's focus on finding Claire's equipment, shall we? You found Claire's equipment, including her secure storage drive, which shockingly appears not to have been tampered with, so the audio evidence is probably still intact.
I know you're listening. Let's talk. We told you the Prime Minister would turn you down. Brits love to see private military contractors on foreign streets, but not their own. He's a fool. This whole city, this whole country's collapsing. The military's held together with duct tape. Police are running scared. Someone has to save the people, Nigel. Someone strong. <laughs> they do. But I've already worked it out. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament, and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tech teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable. It cannot trace back to me. You're forgetting something. And I'll get you access to filament, as agreed. Now go away. Now scarf her or they'll kill you for sure. you want to snap his smug bollocks in a pencil case, doesn't he? And Zero Day knew just which strings to pull to get what they wanted, didn't they? Filament. And Cass was willing to trade it for the keys to the city. Fuck. Don't know, fam. I think I always thought there was a chance for him to... Fuck! To be the man you thought he was. Sorry, Hamish. If that man ever existed, he's gone now. We have to get this information out there to the people. You're right. When you lot get the chance, come to Piccadilly Circus. Been working with bags on something. And this proof is just the topping we needed. London, you've been lied to. Nigel Cass and his Albion peacekeepers intend to permanently control this city. The ideal targets are the Toan Conference, Parliament and King's College Hospital. I'll provide overseas tech teams for logistics, but you can source the bombs yourself. Non-negotiable, it cannot trace back to me. Nigel Cass collaborated with a terrorist to bomb this city. Then, he set up an orbital drone program called Themis that will target you based on your stolen data. I will not allow anyone, not even myself, to jeopardize Themis. I've given you the truth. Do as you will. Actually, fuck that. Resist. Not bad, not bad if I do say so, innit? Hey, Hamish. Ha <laughs> ha. Thought you weren't risking your pretty face. Yeah, well, can't lock myself away from the world forever. Got a lot to make up for, don't I? Besides, you sorry lot need all the help you can get. Check it. Fucking wankers! Yeah, the whole of Albion won't just disappear. sent that to every news outlet I could think of. They're gonna have it on the loop for a while. And when the people tweak to what it means, Cass is done. They'll be removed, prosecuted for high treason. They'll have no choice. We've done it. Congratulations, team. What's next? That can't be all you brought me on for. There is still the matter of Zero Day. You know, the rogue hacker group that conspired with Cass and Mary Kelly to blow up London. Jesus, Backley, all work and no play. Give the squad a second or two to bask in our victory. Safe to say it won't last long. I doubt this is the reaction you were expecting, but Nigel Cass is in the news again.
The government has convened to review its contract with Albion. Nigel Cass himself has responded to requests that he should surrender to the authorities in a heated call with the GBB. Just shut up and listen to me. I will not be removed by the government or anyone else. I will die first. And many will die with me. They're calling for blood. They'll have it. This city belongs to me. I am its shepherd and I will slaughter my flock before I relinquish it. Cass has barricaded himself in his White Tower headquarters and threatened to kill anyone that tries to stop him. He is heavily armed and considered extremely dangerous. Shit. He's gone off the deep end. He's liable to take it to the streets in his state. We have no choice. We have to get to White Tower and stop him.